G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I've got the Foxtech Screamer 250 on the bench here. I, we had a break in the weather today, I thought I'd go out and fly it, but this reviewer's curse thing is really getting to me. Um, I went out, I plugged it in, and no picture from the FPV camera, this little FPV camera here, no picture. There was, the video transmitter was working, I got a black screen, but there was no video, and I couldn't see any obvious breaks in the wiring, the wiring goes all the way through. Um, the, into the camera everything. What I did notice was that when it came there was a lot of stress on the wiring in the camera there. This receiver was pushing into it and causing a lot of stress on the wires. Maybe it's broken a wire where it goes into the camera. I don't know but oh, so I couldn't fly at FPV. So I thought well it doesn't matter. I'll give it a bit of line of sight flying. So I was flying around and the yaw is quite sensitive as, the, as it came set up and I put a bit of quite a bit of yaw in. I was going to do a pirouette, a bit of yaw the motor stopped and it fell out of the sky and then the motor started up again they wouldn't stop <laughs> so it thrashed around on the ground for a while until I was able to disarm it um, yes yeah, something really wrong something not you know I mean uh, and then of course as I expected the video transmitter came off that tape didn't hold it fortunately it didn't break the SMA connector down here um, but the video transmitter that just the, this came off because you know it landed upside down and also this antenna here has been through the props as I thought it would so <laughs> I don't know, I've got to say, this is a brilliant idea, but implementation-wise, man, it's lacking in so many ways. It's just, um, as an RTF product, it's not. At least the one I got, it's not RTF. I've been working on this thing for now two days, and it's still not airworthy. I still can't fly it. It's really annoying and frustrating because I know the potential's there. So what I'm going to do to try and get this thing in the air and, and see what the potential's really like is I'm going to strip it down, and I'm going to rebuild it because... It's just been built badly, I'm, I'm afraid. I mean, Foo's got the best of intentions and, and the products themselves are probably pretty good quality, but it's just not put together well and there's some really bad design choices. So I'm going to rebuild the Foxtech Screamer the way I would have built it in the first place. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens there. So it makes it an interesting project, I suppose. I will probably ditch the 89 transmitter because even with the greater yaw, uh, wider um, dead band on the yaw, it was suddenly, you know, oh, ooh, then it's working and oh, it was just, nah. No, it's just not really up to scratch. So I'm going to put a FreeSky receiver in here. We're going to run it on FreeSky. I'm going to remount this video transmitter in the right place. I'm going to completely redesign the whole camera setup here. I'm probably going to toss that camera out because it's great, it's fine, it's small, but it's, it doesn't work for a start. But I'm going to put in a decent CCD camera and see what we can do, see if we can make this really work as well as it should have out of the box. So at this stage, I'd say if you're looking at buying one of these, Forget the ready-to-fly product. I don't think it's really up to the scratch. It's just not good enough. Um, you might want to buy the, uh, if there's a kit, the kit might be a better option because then you can build it yourself. Make sure you get all the details right and that you do things properly because they haven't been done properly on this one. So I will, as I say, strip it down, rebuild it, and then we'll try it again. And maybe Foxtech will, um, you know, see some of the things I've done and think, hey, that's a good idea. We'll include that or whatever. But at the moment, this one, hell of a lot of work. Haven't even got a flight out of it yet. And, yeah, what can I say? So there you go. Um, next video you see on this will be stripped down. Now, I have a, had time today. I flew the Shuriken FPV, and it, as I thought, it flies pretty damn well, which I'd like to have flown this as well. But um, the Shuriken 180 flies really well. There'll be a little bit of footage in another video, um, some FPV camera footage, because one of the problems with the Shuriken, it doesn't really have an easy mount for a high-definition def, high recording camera. So I've got it all from the DVR, which is sitting on the ground, so the picture isn't that good, but it gives you an idea. And uh, I'm pretty rusty with my FPV flying, or my mini quad flying. I've only flown probably half an hour in the last six months due to rules, regulations, lack of observers and so forth. So there you go. Anyway, enough griping about that. Stripping this down, rebuilding it, and hopefully it'll go just like it should. Got questions, comments, suggestions, anything at all? Let me know in the comments section on this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yours very sensitive. Check that ball off. Did you get a feeling of it first? Yeah. <laughs> you want it in a stable mode, I'll say. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Also, because it's um, not that easy to orient the yours, it's actually really, really um, high rate on the yaw. <laughs> Oh, it's a Noah! <laughs>